Okay, so since I'm back from vacation, I'm gonna start doing regular uploads. And, yeah, but today's video is about, is America really a melting pot? Okay, so there's this one episode in Schoolhouse Rock that is basically this melting pot. Because I remember we used to just leave it on the TV, and every time we'd walk by, we'd just see it. And one time, sometimes I would stop and listen to, you know, Schoolhouse Rock, classic show, I, I guess. And there's this one, like, episode or thingy, whatever you want to call it, called The Great American Melting Pot. And, frankly, yeah, I, I thought it was true when I first watched it when I was, like, six or something. But now, it's not. So, basically, if you don't know what The Great American Melting Pot means, it basically means old Americans can melt in and accept each other's races and religions and where they're from, which is not true. Really, especially nowadays, it's sadly not the truth. So, this episode was made, was released on May 1st, 1976. So, even at the time, America still wasn't a melting pot. Actually, even after, when Amer even in the 1800s, when America started seeing rapid um, immigration, it was still not a, a melting pot. There was xenophobic Americans, discrimination against Jewish people, Germans, Irish... And really any other things, like it was not really a melting pot, people really hated each other, especially with the deals of African Americans after they were freed in 1865, the American Civil War, there was still, you know, it wasn't a melting pot, you know, the Ku Klux Klan, the Jim Crow law that came later, it was not a melting pot. Now, the only, now, it really only started to soften up towards the late 1890s and, 19, and 1900s, but it was still not, it wasn't like a melting pot. I would say it's more of a salad mix, if that makes sense. I, I think a lot of people have heard that before. And, yeah, even in, like, the, like, I guess you'd say the golden age of the immigration to America is probably, like, 1900, like, the 1890s to... 1920s is probably what I would think. Um, and even still, there you know there was a lot of um, a lot of hate against other con uh, people from other countries, minorities, I guess you could say. Uh, for example, you know during the Prohibition era, Germans or during World War One, I, I guess you say Germans, you know, were heavily criticized, and a lot of them were Germans who came, you know, were born in the United States. It was kind of like the, what the Americans did to the Japanese. Uh, during World War II, which I already did a video, and I'll leave that in the description below if you haven't seen it. But, uh, yeah, so I would say America, even today, is not a melting pot. I don't think it really ever was a successful mel melting pot. Um, of course, you could argue my the my kind of opinion or my, you know, my belief on that, on that situation. I think it was more of a salad, like there's kind of no other way to describe it. Um, I'm not saying all Americans are bad, no, I'm just saying that there were a lot of hate to different countries, and when the, especially during immigration, even today, <coughs> uh, especially you've probably heard about it with the uh, you know, Muslims and stuff, so I don't think America's a melting pot. I have the salad, and yeah, it's my sh kind of short little video, I'm tired, so... Yeah, I'll probably do it. I'll do another video tomorrow. Bye, guys.